get an honor like that? Well, it's definitely an honor. You know, um, it doesn't happen a whole lot, so it's definitely, uh, definitely an honor. But I think it's a reflection on our, our whole group, you know, how we played as a whole. Um, like I said, after the game, you know, guys around me played extremely well. Off the line, uh, was doing a great job keeping me clean. Uh, and, and guys making plays downfield, you know, I think, um, you know, like I said, Derek's been running hard all year, opens up a lot of things for us, and, uh, and guys making plays outside. Given everything that's on the line on this Sunday coming up, what kind of atmosphere do you want to see at Nissan Stadium in terms of the fans, the noise, all that kind of stuff? Honestly, you want it to be, you want it to be a great home atmosphere, but uh, at the end of the day, it's about how we play on the field. And... Um, the execution that we play with, the energy that we play with, uh, obviously love love a home field advantage. But at the same time, uh, it's really about about how we come out as a team and, and are and are ready to go. Think back to when the Titans traded for you. What was your feeling like on that day? And could you have imagined at that time that things would play out like they have now? Uh, I didn't know how it was going to play out. You know, um, you know, I, I didn't know where I was going to end up, and ended up here. I was excited about the opportunity, and. Like I said, didn't didn't know how I was going to go or, or if slash when I was going to get an opportunity, but um, you know, just wanted to make the best of it. So, yeah, I mean, I, I w- I'm not a big guy on trying to forecast the future or anything. It's more uh, try to handle what's right in front of you and and be the best you can every single day. Obviously, when a unit has such a 180, it's more than just one guy. What what has changed sort of across the board for the offense since the first half of the season since to to now? I think we're we're just progressing. I keep saying every week we're on the right track. You know, we're doing some good things. Uh, we're getting better. You know, as the season goes on, which is what you want to see. Uh, you want to be playing your your best football deep into December. You know, hopefully into into January. You know, I think that's what the best teams do is is find a way to to get better as the season goes on and, and play their best football at the end of the year. So uh, we're on the right track. We just have to have to keep doing it. You know, keep the keep the little things that are going right first, keep those going well, and then the areas where we can improve is, is clean those up. You said there's been an increase in confidence and even an understanding of sort of what the goal is. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think so, and I think that's natural. You know, you understand how we want to do things and, and the details of, of how we do things, and that gets better as the season goes on, and then from that the confidence grows because you see how those details pay off and, and the execution level rise so now the confidence level increases and uh, you can kind of build on that from week to week have you heard from people whether it's maybe former teammates of miami but maybe even dating back to texas a m people who have kind of been happy for you for your i guess rebirth if lack for a better word i mean have you, have you heard, gotten some positive feedback from people you've shared the journey with yeah i mean there's uh you know people constantly reaching out which is which is nice you know guys that uh, i love playing with in the past and um uh, you know, just offering kind words and support, which is, is really nice. Obviously, your numbers are, are here right now. Do you, does, it, does that match how you feel out there? Do you feel as as good as you felt throwing the football in this league and even pre-snap and everything about doing the job as, as, as well as you felt doing it? Yeah, I feel great. I feel great. You know, I think it's a, um, like I said earlier, it's a, it's a total team picture of, of, you know, how we feel as a whole, of, uh, a reflection of our execution, you know how we go into the game with knowing exactly what we need to do to, to come out with a win and how to do it and then being able to go out and execute. You know, I think that not only, you know, helps me to play with a lot of confidence, but the guys around me as well. What about just you throwing the ball and how you feel out there? Is it- yeah, I feel great. I mean, um, excited about excited about the opportunity in front of us here against the Texans. I, you know, feel great with, uh, with what we have and, and the guys that we're doing it with. And like I said, we just need to keep doing it uh, the way we're doing it and, and getting a little better every week. How much improvement is there left for this offense? Well, there's definitely things we can clean up. You know, I think uh, some games more than others, but you go back, you look at the tape, and, and there's always things that, that we can be better at, you know, plays that we missed, um, conversions that we should have had, um, maybe a block on the backside of a run or a throw location could have been better, a route could have been a little bit better. Um, it's, it's an imperfect game. You know, you're striving for – for perfection, but it's an imperfect game, and, and you're constantly uh, just trying to clean those things up so that um, you know it may not have hurt us this last game, but the same mistake the next game could hurt us. So we, we definitely want to clean those things up. Brian, you mentioned making the most of this opportunity here in Tennessee. What, what did that involve behind the scenes the last few months as you got ready for, for this stretch? I think just, like I said, doing the best I could every day to, to prepare myself for the opportunity and, and be ready. Um, I've said you know several times that 
coming in, making the change was hard for me. Um, just being in a different situation and uh, adjusting to a new role. But I uh, just tried to do the best I could with that role and uh, immerse myself in this offense, taking as much information as I could. Uh, that way, you know, when my number was called, that I was ready. Having worked through that experience of losing the starting position and then regaining it, do you find yourself playing with more of an edge now that, that you've gotten it again? Yeah, I don't know if I'm playing with more of an edge. You know, I think I've constantly, I've tried to always play with it, play with a little bit of an edge. Um, you know, I love competing. I love um, the opportunity to go out and, and play the game I love, being on the field with the guys uh, that I love. And um, there, there's something special about competing on a Sunday, you know, in front of a, in front of a packed house. And, you know, you got uh, 11 guys on the other side are trying to stop you from, from doing what you want to do. So uh, I love that, that challenge each and every week. And, uh, you know, I look forward to it. What pushed you to be able to, to fight through all that? Was it a scripture or a quote, anything in particular? Um, my faith is huge, huge to me. I don't know if it's, it's one particular verse or anything like that, but, um, you know, my faith is huge. I've leaned on that constantly throughout my life through the, the ups and the downs, the lows and the highs. Uh, you know, a lot of things change, but, but God doesn't change. He's always there for me. Uh, my family has been great. Um, my wife has been supportive, um, you know, since the day I met her, just the ups and the downs and everything we've been through. Uh, I'm thankful for the way my parents raised me and, uh, just instilling some values in me that, that I think helped carry me to this day. So, um, you know, there's, there's constantly a, a group of people, my teammates supporting me throughout the, the whole process. There's, there's constantly, you know, uh, a group of people that, that help any, anybody in that locker room. There's going to be a different group of people, but each person's going to have some, some support system that's going to be there for them. Is, it, is this as confident as you've been throughout your career? Would you say you're as confident right now in your ability and how things are going with this offense that you've ever been? I'm not going to compare it to, like, things in the past, but – you know, I'm confident. I'm confident in the guys that, that are in the locker room. The guys are playing at an extremely high level. And um, like I said, big opportunity this week. And we just need to keep on that track. Come out this week, uh, practice with energy, and, uh, and clean up the details. That way we're ready to go on Sunday. Was there a point about how supportive Marcus has been through all this? And how much have you appreciated that? How important has that been to you? And what you know, could have been a difficult situation? Yeah, Marcus is huge. Obviously, it is a difficult situation for him. Uh, ton of respect for, for Marcus and uh, not only what he's done in his football career, uh, but the person that he is each and every day. And um, like I said, tough situation for him, but he's been nothing but professional throughout the whole process. I've uh, been supportive, um, been able to just talk through things on game day, you know, during the week, um, helps me with the, watching the tape. You know, I th think he does everything he can possibly do to, uh, to help me and this team along, which is uh, – you know, it says a lot about his character as a person uh, being in that tough situation. Is there a point in, in the weekly routine with, with Pat or with Art where you guys ever touch on any of the numbers? A, this number being particularly good tells us we're doing that. Your, your yards per attempt or a C now, you guys are averaging one point per possession minute, which seems ridiculous. I don't you even know what that means. Any of that stuff? <laughs> it sounds like a basketball yeah. You get into next level stats. Uh, I don't know anything about those, but uh, no, we don't really talk a whole lot about stats or or numbers. I'm sure. I mean, I don't even know. Like I said, we never really talked about it. Art maybe knows those those things, but um, no, we don't talk about talk about those things a whole lot. You know, I think uh, it's constantly about improving and a growth mindset. You know, we said that from day one. Art stood up there on April 15th, whatever it was, and said that each and every day we want to have a growth mindset when we step in this building, and. Um, I think we've strived to do that, you know, throughout this whole year through the ups and the downs is, is constantly just finding ways for us to grow and improve as an offense. Now, we've seen the best team only point seven three points per possession. Again. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the passer rating, and, and what does it mean to have a chance to lead the league in that regard? Um, like I said, it's a reflection of, of the offense as a whole. You know, I think there's a lot that goes into um, an offense, obviously, and then, and then throwing the football. You know, you have to have time. You have to have guys open, guys making tough catches, uh, the running after catches, uh, you know, 50-50 balls, guys going up and making plays. John knew in the end zone last week. You know, there's a lot that goes into that, and I think it's a reflection on, on the whole offense. Ryan, how have you seen A.J. get better since he came back from that training camp injury up to now? I think his growth has been steady. You know, I think uh, a guy who's playing with a lot of confidence right now, uh, we've kind of seen what he can do and, and want to keep expanding that. 
uh, not only accent the things that he's already shown to do well, but now just keep kind of expanding him slowly week, week in and week out and, and adding more things to his repertoire and uh, allow him to keep playing. You know, he's a guy that just goes out and, and makes plays. You know, you can you know, throw him an underneath pass, and you don't know if it's going to be a, an 8-yard gain or an 80-yard gain. So uh, it's always exciting to, uh, to see him with the ball in his hands. What's typical for a, for a rookie wide receiver in that regard, Ryan? What, what do you generally see rookie wide receivers get better at? gradually as the, as the season goes along? I think every guy's different, but, um, you know, in general, you're, you're learning a lot of new things. You know, football is football, but at the end of the day, it's it's a, it's a new business. It's always been kind of a, a game, so to speak, and now it's your job, and uh, it's a business. So you're learning that. You're learning how the NFL is done, um, week in and week out, scheduling, uh, how to handle all those types of things. Uh, so it's a, it's a learning process throughout that. So you're adding life of football along with X's and O's and on the field. So uh, it's a difficult process that, that every rookie has to uh, has to go through and learn. But uh, as a receiver, you know, you just kind of want to see them have steady growth throughout the year and, and progress them and their their details, their, their route running craft, um, and their understanding of the offense in general. And I think A.J. has, has shown that throughout the whole year. How much does your background as a college receiver help you understand what receivers are looking for uh, now that you're a quarterback? Um, I think it kind of helps me relate a little bit. You know, it's been so long since I ran any routes. Um, you know, it probably helped me a lot more back in college when I was kind of fresh off, off running routes. These guys are running uh, and playing at a lot higher level than I ever played at, at wide receivers. So um, not like I'm giving them a whole lot of pointers. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think I can I can talk through and – may not know how they're doing exactly um, that I've done it, but you know I can kind of talk through how I want them to run a certain route, uh, gaining leverage or keeping leverage or, or whatever it may be, getting in the blind spot, um, just to help them help them get open and then us be on the same page. At the end of the day, that's that's the most important thing. If, uh, if we're on the same page and I can, I can trust them to be in the right spot, then we're expecting good results. Thank you. Thank you.